Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Kai X Limitless. And we back with another one. We talking about Carly Russell and this new press conference. And we got a whole lot of new information about the situation. So it turns out that Carly Russell was capping this whole time about everything, it seems like. Police, they're saying, well, even her own attorney is saying that she has apologized for making up all of this and it was all one big lie, right? She's capping and it's looking like she's the new Jesse Smollett, right? So let's get into it. Alabama police shared new information on Carly Russell, a 25-year-old woman who was reportedly missing but later returned home. A press conference, Hoover Police Chief uh, Nick revealed that Russell admitted her appearance was a hoax. And that it never happened. She was never abducted. She had lied on a 911 report of seeing a toddler on the interstate. The investigation into the 49 hours, she was missing. And it was still ongoing. Russell was reported missing on July 13th at the call of 911 to report the sighting of a toddler on the highway. But there were no other signs of a, mis a report of a missing child in the area. She returned home on foot. July 15th, the police held a press conference uh, uh, addressing the public concern. And we're going to really see what people, uh, what they do about this. I was saying just for her own, you know, just a, a smart move by her is to just to say she was she's mentally ill and she's got some type of personality disorder. Like she's a, you know, narcissist or something like that. Um, go to go to uh, go that route, go to mental health route, because if she comes out that there's nothing wrong with this girl, she's going to get, you know, Lord knows what's going to happen to her, get jail time. I mean, you know, this is just a bad look for her. And she called it on herself. Right. So I, I, I was comparing this case to the uh, Smollett case where he was uh, given 150 j days in jail and he was given a whole bunch of restitution for the hate crime that he was that he staged right so i guess this will go into something similar to me i think it was something similar because she also lied about a endangered child that people were looking for that didn't exist people were looking for carly russell who was never kidnapped um uh, so i think there's a very similar between the two so we're going to see if the how far the justice system will go with this like what do y'all think that they should do uh, with Carly Russell, do y'all think that they should just give her um, mental health, you know, rehab, you know, a facility or that type of thing? Or should she serve time for all of this? And she's probably going to get sued, too, for the investigation, the uh, 49 hour investigation that went on, uh, the police search and all of the costs associated with that. So we're going to see we're going to see what happens to Carly Russell we're probably going to do one more update when they figure out what they want to do with her or if any more information on her background or about her comes out we're going to do another one on that so let me know what y'all think about this subscribe to the channel like the video and we out